This is Gabriel with Duplicating Systems, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Canon's Advance Box to your Windows PC. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that your Canon copier is already connected to your local area network. And so next, I want you to go to a browser and type in your copier's IP address. If you don't know your copier's IP address, we have a video showing you how to find out your IP address for your copier, and you can click on the gray card in the upper right corner to learn how to do that. So after you find out your copier's IP address, type it in the search bar at the top of your browser. In my case, it's going to be 192.168.1.86. From this page, I'm going to type in my username and password. In this case, it's going to be administrator and my password. From here, I'm gonna click on settings, registration, network settings, SMB server settings, and I'm gonna make sure use SMB server is clicked. On this setup of advanced box, I'm gonna be using very minimal security, uh, but there are other setups of advanced box where you can have more layers of security, more logins, for example. But in this setup, I'm just gonna use the standard a non-secure way. From here I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to scroll down to Store Access Files, Advanced Box Settings, Set Details. Under Open to Public I'm going to say by SMB and under File Formats I'm going to select All. This will allow you to put in any file type onto your Canon copier's hard drive. Uh, but if you select device supported formats, you'll only be able to upload JPEG, TIFF, and PDF. However, just because you can now put on any file type onto your Canon's hard drive, you'll only be able to print out PDF, JPEG, and PNG. Now that all has been selected, go ahead and press OK. It's going to give you this warning that says to make advanced box public, the SMB server settings must be configured in network. Well, we already did that. So just click OK. And now click apply setting changes, restart, and perform restart to actually restart your copier. Now head over to your copier and log in as the administrator. After logging in, click on scan and store. Advanced Box, Shared Space, Folder Operations, and go ahead and create a folder of your naming. In my case, I'm going to call it Gabe's folder. After everything has been created, I'm going to log out and head back on over to the computer. Now that your SMB settings have been turned on and your folder has been created on Advanced Box, open up File Explorer, go to this PC. Click on Map Network Drive, and under Drive, you can select any blank drive. In this example, I'm going to select W, but you can see that the rest of these are blank. Uh, for folder, I'm going to type in backslash, backslash, and then the IP address of the Canon copier, which in this case is 192. 0.168.1.86. Now I'm going to go to Browse. Drop down this menu, go under Share, and click on Gabe's folder, and press OK. From here I'm going to Finish, and you can see that this is the inside of Gabe's folder. You'll be able to access your your Canon's advanced box from your file explorer on the side under this PC. And you'll be able to upload any number of files to this hard drive. You'll also be able to upload files to this advanced box through your copier scanning function. If you'd like to see how to customize your Canon copier's control panel so that you can access your advanced box with one tap of a button, click on this video link. If you want to learn how to use your advanced box on both your Canon copier and your PC, click on this link to the right. 
you have any questions, feel free to ask us down in the comments below or contact us directly at Duplicating Systems. Our contact information is in this video's description.